Do you think her grace's nerves have been calmed? Doubt it. Rarely forgets, rarely retracts what she says, especially not the friends. Yes, well, even I must admit Deadlove's actions were highly inappropriate. Reprehensible, even. Are you upset? Why would I be? Hmm, let's see. You're returning from your hunt empty-handed. No trophy. No new lead to boast of, then pursue. <laughs> I don't get upset. Upset's just not a sensation I feel. Ever. Mutations, remember. Hmm, yes, of course. The excuse you resort to whenever you'd rather not talk about Wow, something. dude. I'm servant of you. So let's change the subject. How do your employers customarily react when you fail to meet their expectations? <sighs> Depends. Peasants cuss me out. Merchants demand I refund their deposit. Whereas nobles mostly just release their hounds. And rumors? Usually threaten me with the gallows. A most illustrious grace awaits the gentleman. She's gonna be pissed. Your grace, the population demands she be punished. Siona's committed terrible crimes. Spilt so much blood. They... Another word, Palmerin, and I shall spill even more blood. Yours. Damn. I repeat for the last time, Siana is responsible for the death of many, true, but she is also my sister. We are bound by blood wow. and shared childhood. I shall not allow her to be lynched. Your Grace, I fear the masses might rise. Storm the prison, pitchforks and torches in hand. Let them storm. They will not find her there. Siana is hidden away in a safe place. She shall await trial there until we have rid ourselves of this accursed vampire. Which, to judge by your means, has not yet come to pass. Did what we could, but... My patience is at an end, Oh Gerald. my god, Anna. Where is he? Where is Detlaf? Don't know. Working on it. Let's hit her with the don't know. Don't know. I lost his trail. Is this all you have to say? I respect your <laughs> I grace. I knew that was gonna piss all her I can off. say is the truth. Ah, at times I hunt foxes. Do you know how it works? The ducal huntsman releases the hounds. They catch the fox's scent, chase the animal down, and lead the bachu to it. All within an hour. You, witcher, have had a week. The aid of my most excellent knights, yet... You have tracked absolutely nothing down. I've begun to suspect my beagles might have done a better job. Oh, do we hit her with the sass? Or do we hit her with the science? <laughs> Maybe you should sell your beagles then? Oh my god, I want to hit her with the sass so bad. But I like Anna, so I'll just hit her with that. Allow me to point out certain subtle but essential differences between a higher vampire and a fox, or game in general. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was too- that was extra sass. Truly. Like the ones between a pathetic quip and a treasonous offense. Ooh. Watch your words, witcher. Damn. But to the matter at hand. Have you managed to establish anything? Your Grace, it seems Which is sassy as hell, man. Detlef, used him to murder the knights who escorted her into exile. I did not mean to be that he sassy. Reason to believe that. Oh, what? Hello? Your Grace! Vampires! What? Speak now! Vampires! Oh, they protect the city! Kept them the Latour defense to square near the boat landing, but so many lives lost. Should have sent Sienna. Should have sent Sienna. Oh, whoa! Oh, it's over. If it's war this Detlef wants, it's war he shall have. Geralt, get to work. This time I'll hear no excuses. Palmer and you. 
Dead laugh. Oh! Get her out of here. Frickin' rest in peace. Come on, Bruxa. Can we get some help here? Like, can we start hitting this chick? There we go. There's some real damage. Oh my god. Oh my. Brocks are so annoying. There we go. Oh! That dude just got ripped in half. Or like a million pieces, actually. I there we go. She's gotta be dead. There we go. Siona failed to appear as summoned. And there. Detloff is not making idle threats. Seems not. Need to make some serious plans of our own now. It's gone too far, damn it. Regis, you mentioned there was a way to draw Detlaf out. A way you've avoided resorting to so far because you thought it was too dangerous. Is that how I put it? Do forgive me, but I've misled you terribly. The word dangerous is simply a scandalous understatement in this case. Regis, another inner monologue growing out of a personal dilemma. Just tell me how to flush Detlaf out, force him to meet, please. I in due course. But first, Geralt, I'd like you to consider the alternative. After all... You could fulfill Detlaf's demand and liberate his beloved Siona. Oh, man. I think Detlaf's... I mean, he could, Detlaf right? Detlaf still believes Siona's innocent? I believe he suspects something. He must. And he seeks to understand what happened. And for that, he's declared war on the entire duchy? What can I say? Moderation was never his strong suit. You know, if there's one thing I can respect about Detlaf is that he's, you know, he really sticks to his word. He's a man of action. Really want to free Siana? Hand her over to Detlaf? Refuse to accept you consider that wise. It's hard to believe, I know. But Detlaf is not actually evil, merely impulsive. He needs but meet with her, speak with her, and he will spare the city. Hmm. So say I agree to this, because I might. Still no chance Anna Henrietta will. I do not recall ever suggesting we ask her permission. Well, where the hell is she? She can't be harmed. The meeting. What if it's nothing like you say? What if it goes sour? Ends in a fight. Willing to guarantee Siana won't get hurt? It seems unlikely in the extreme that... Didn't ask for a lecture on probability. Need a simple answer. Yes or no. I vow that not a hair on her head shall come to any harm. Yeah, I don't think he can uphold that. Got serious reservations about this plan. Not least among them, we have no idea where Siana's being held. You heard the Duchess. She's not at the prison. Hardly a reservation. More of an excuse. I'm certain you'll find her. You must merely decide you wish to. Hmm. Could ask Damien. Duchess treats him like a lapdog. Keeps him close most times. You might know something more. There, you see? 
I knew you'd think of something. Bravo. I trust I've dispelled your doubts, then. Not so fast. We're not done talking. Say I don't want to negotiate. How could I get Detlaf to reveal himself? Oh. Oh. How would I go about luring Detlaf out of hiding if I wanted to? With the blood of a virgin? You see, somewhere nearby lives an unusual denizen. One of the unseen, ancient and powerful vampires. Among the oldest and strongest. Mm-hmm, and? Tusa is this unseen elder's territory. All vampires owe him fealty while they are here. He need but say the word, designate a time and place, and Detlaf will be forced to appear. So this unseen elder, how do we convince him to summon Detlaf? We must find him first. The elder does not see arrivals unless he absolutely must. But locals, Oriana, for instance, you know, she too is a... Yeah, figured it out. All right, let's say she gets me in to see the Unseen Elder. What then? I don't know. You'll have to improvise, I suppose. Improvise. With the world's strongest vampire. Hmm. So I'm basically stuck. Either gotta give in to a blackmailer, or fight him. You know what I would opt for? Should we free Siana and arrange for her to meet with Detlaf? There's a good chance we'll all survive this ordeal. Detlaf included. Regis. Don't mean to put you on the spot, but I gotta know. Say I do decide to fight Detlaf. Who you stand with? Should you decide your sword is the sole solution, I shall not stand in your way. Appreciate it. Certainly hope so. Now, please tell me, what is it you intend to do? Uh, I... I guess I'm... I should free Sienna. Although I do want to Crazy meet this unseen seems, vampire. I'll do it. I'll ask Damien about Siana. You won't make me beg. I knew you wouldn't. Slow down. Not promising a thing. Just want to get a feel for the situation to start with. Coming with? Of course. Many hands make light work. Okay, let's find Damien. Oh, this is getting epic. The music here? Damien could be in danger. Or dead. You think so? He seemed battle hardened, more than a few straps on his belt. Against humans, not monsters. Yeah, not everybody's fighting deadly vampires every day, you know, Regis? Regis? Oh, fuck, what? The Knight of the Long. Oh! What the f? Oh, I fought one of these. Oh, it's so loud! There we go. Never thought lesser vampires would heed a higher vampire's call and commands. As a rule, they don't. So how did they sick them on the city? I told you, he's exceptional. He manages to bend them to his will, control them with his thoughts. They'll continue attacking until he orders them to back down until he dies. That is crazy, man. Detlaf is super powerful. I don't want to fight him at all. Oh no. But, okay, fake this chick. Let's go, Regis. God damn, are we just gonna run past everything? Oh my god, another one. Oh! Just did a flip! Need to work on animation. Ran. That's it. It's Damien's blood. He was wounded. Let's go. Uh oh. Gotta get after Damien. We can't let him die. Barricade put up in the street. Focus. That's an obstacle to a vampire. They didn't know. I didn't get a chance to prepare them. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my. There's two of them?
Can I maybe get a little help here, Regis? Regis is not helping whatsoever. This is so annoying. Good God. Um, if you would help, maybe? There's- oh my god, finally. Oh, she's eating my face! Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, we're whooping her. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Come on, give me your insides. There we go. <laughs> give me your insides, and then we'll be good to go. That was so annoying. Why doesn't Regis help with that? Oh, crap. Let's keep going, Regis. Must be in the bank. Barricaded themselves inside. Oh, I hear him. I cannot let them see. Oh, my. Easy. Stupid Felder. Okay, let's talk to Damien. You killed it. Single handedly. That harlot's brood slaughtered half my unit. I see the harlot's brood came close to slaughtering you as well. Need to withdraw. You and your men. Now. My duty lies with the city. Won't help the city by leading your men to the slaughter. Damien. Conversation back at the palace, remember? I'll say it again. Your men don't stand a chance. His ear got messed up. <laughs> men, tend to the wounded and prepare to march out. Doing the right thing. Now listen close. Silver. That's what you want to use against vampires. Your alchemists order them to produce as much vampire oil as they can, churn it out in gallons, then coat your blades with it. Keep an eye out for Alps and Bruxe. The shapely ones resemble women. They're one moment, gone the next. Bombs containing silver splinters are a pretty good idea. I mean, they're gonna do this all Thank in like the next you. hour. I hope you're worth the coin the Duchess pledged you. And that you'll return with the head of the wretch that did this, skewered on a hook. Uh, about that. Got a different plan. Hmm. And what would that be? All I can say just now is I'm gonna need Sianna. You know the Duchess's decision. Sianna awaits her trial, in custody. We know it, but we do not agree with it. You've that luxury. I do not. I've sworn my loyalty to her grace. Please. Folk are dying. Many more will. Be 
because of one. If her grace learns I helped you, my head will roll. And ours will follow right after it. Yet still we are prepared to take the risk. I fear we waste our time here. Come, Geralt. Wait. When... When last I saw Siana, her grace was escorting her to the palace playroom. Playroom? As in, for children? You sure? I've served in the Ducal Palace for years. I know it's every corner. So yes, I am damn sure. Yeah, you Play idiot, around. Geralt. So Jesus. What, just lock Siana up in a dollhouse? Honestly, I've no clue. Look, I've told you what I saw. What you do with it is no concern of mine. Got it. I'll look into it. You get back to your barracks. Retrace my steps. The path ought to be clear. Get out of here, dudes. And you've our gratitude. You helped us a great deal. I helped Beauclair. At least I hope I did. I wonder if they're wondering why this old man is here, like... Let's go, Regis. Like, what's this Regis guy gonna do? He's like 900 years old. Oh yeah, I just follow the Witcher around. Yeah. Oh! What the f <laughs> I just ate that. Locked. Of course. Great. Ages. Rather not have a fist fight with this door. Do you mind? Not at all. God damn, that is the best. Come on. Seriously, that is Thanks. the best That's skill. Let Kent go. Utter silence. No one here. We should look around at least. Something inside. Nope. Empty. Oh, this place is creepy. I feel like there's definitely some secret in here. Well, well. A key. Okay. Nature. Golden key. A rocky horse, rather worn. I suppose it got a lot of use. A tin knight. A tin knight. Don't know why that's. Miniature tableware and plush toys. Cute. Wooden duck. Somebody broke its wings off. Wow. It's nice, these things. Nice tune. Indeed. Pleasant. It's a shame the mechanism is damaged. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, a journal. What the? Found a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort, court governess. The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. Let's learn about their, their backstory a bit, you know? Siana gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. Perhaps. Charming. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Siana does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams, kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. Interesting. The girls quarreled today. I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Siana gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Anna had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His Grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Siana and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Anna did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. 
Interesting. A thousand fables. Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, and with Barbarossa, who proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Rockfall wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. Cannabis rudularis, for instance. Or Cannabis. Shh, don't interrupt. I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here, a specialist in illusions, which means... Regis, last warning. Stop interrupting or I'll seat you in the corner. The girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables and utter out loud the incantation, Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. This is interesting. Okay, so maybe she's in the illusion? His Grace the Duke expects concern. Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. They came to examine Siana. I cannot know what conclusions they drew, but His Grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm, curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt, then, that she was diagnosed with the syndrome symptoms. Or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. Oh. I tutored the girls in Nilfgaardian today. Siana applies herself so, though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Honorietta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Siana laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Bluda is damned, or cursed. What's accuser? In the melodious tongue of our non-too-friendly neighbors to the south, the word describes the many-petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the crop. <laughs> nice. Okay, well that's everything. This might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Siana into that illusion. Not impossible. She would be safe there, and I So Bluda Kuz? Is what, what? <laughs> I'm gonna start calling people that. Find Where's the book. That book? Uh, there it is. Huh. Is it? Let's see. Jesus, there's latches, Witcher. Come on, use your hands. Expecto Ludum. Oh, whoa. Dude, this is one good mage.